My name is uh, Jason Martis, and my title with CARM is the Director of Department Support. So that means that I like work in all of our stores, um, traveling around with um, teams in all departments to help give coverage and um, plug any staffing needs you know, as they come up and to train um, as we go. On the other side of it, the family environment that we've been able to create um, within the teams that I work on, the, uh, the overall atmosphere is different than anything that I've ever experienced professionally outside of working for a church. Um, it's the closest thing that has the, the biblical family vibe where we work together, we celebrate good things together, we work through the, the negatives and partner alongside each other and help each other out outside of work as needed. It's been a great experience and I've met a ton of good, good people uh, and had just some crazy interactions over time that have really um, grown, grown me as a person. Um, I've worked with different people that have, like, like I said before, mentored me. Uh, but I think one of the coolest things is just hearing the stories from donors. And you know, there's not necessarily one specific one, but I came from a, the processing background, and so um, getting to hear the donors get excited about what they're bringing in, or um, getting to share with them the stories of what we do downtown, um, that's for me the coolest story. Is um, the ministry downtown? Everything that we touch, everything that we handle goes to fund that and uh, you know when it comes down to it that's what it's about is providing through the ministry uh, funding so people can have physical needs met to ultimately learn more about Jesus. We don't always know what's going on behind the scenes. I have, I've had an interaction with, with a lady one time where it was a very like negative or very short interaction and come to find out her husband had just passed away and she was donating her, you know, her husband's um, belongings, a lot of his clothes. And so it was very emotional for her. It gave an opportunity for me in that situation to show compassion and to be able to pray with this, this lady and um, show some encouragement and to communicate, hey, not only are you are, are his belongings gonna go to help people by them being able to purchase, but also it's funding the needs down at the ministry. Um, and so I think in life, it's helped me to um, be a little slower to speak and a little bit more um, open to see things from everybody's perspective because we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And being around this so much, being here for four and a half years, 40 plus hours a week, I've had so many opportunities with those interactions. For anybody that doesn't know about CARM or anybody that's thought about either donating or working for CARM, um, what we say and what the company um, claims to stand on is, is legitimate. Um, from a biblical stance, um, we, we've led our teams uh, with the perspective of we want them to, to grow closer to the Lord through the work, uh, what we fund downtown, the uh, the impacts of the lives of people down there, uh, everything that you know we talk about does go back to reflect Jesus. And our ultimate goal for our staff is to is to like mentor and lead and give them a place where they feel loved and have a family um, while we're serving for the ministry downtown. Because the ultimate goal for the ministry and our funding is to provide physical needs, um, which again, ultimately leads to providing spiritual needs. It's something that I've never experienced in any other workplace. I'm Grace Eckley and I'm an assistant retail manager, but I'm also the training coordinator for the floor. I have been working for CARM for 10 months now. Just love working um, in the retail aspect of it. Quite frankly, I actually didn't want to work in retail again whatsoever, but uh, someone sold the mission aspect to, to me. And that is the entire reason why I'm still here because I just fell in love with the mission. So here at CARM, it's really important to me um, that I am able to share my faith and the company allows me to. So of the people that have come in, um, I just kind of sense that they need just someone to talk to and I'm able to pray over them. But one that sticks out to me is there's a gentleman that comes in and I know he's homeless because he I, I've seen that he lives out of his car and he might come in daily um, and he does buy a couple things here and there, but I ha always have an opportunity to talk to him. Like he'll share stuff that, um, he's a veteran. So um, I come from a Navy family and he comes from, he's a Marine. A little backlash here or there, joking wise, but it's just kind of really cool to just 
share some stories and just share my faith a little bit with him. CARM has definitely opened up my eyes quite a bit more to just the homeless community. Um, recently, I've had the opportunity to do the CARM encounter down at the Mission in downtown Knoxville. I absolutely loved it. Um, I have served uh, breakfast there a couple times in the past with my church, but CARM really gave us a tour of the entire building and really of how much they actually do to provide services. And what stuck out to me most was the kitchens and the dining area. Um, I've been there before, but since coming to work at CARM rather than just serving down there, um, they have taught us to tell everybody that when they check out, every $2 is gonna go towards a single meal down there, right? So um, that just brings their shopping experience back to the mission. But down there and actually seeing how much food that they provide every day for everyone, it's incredible. Like there are hundreds of people that come through every day that we help provide for. We saw the shelters down there and how many people they actually are able to provide care for. But the biggest thing that really got me was the fact that they had basically a third shift member of staff that was a therapist. So for those that couldn't sleep in the middle, middle of the night, they had someone there to talk to if they needed to. That just, they're just there. They don't really expect much out of everybody, but they're just there just in case someone needs somebody. And that was really cool because I've never heard of that before. Just having someone there when something is keeping you up at night. I love that CARM is a growing company and they're always looking for new people to hire on, to fill positions. Um, I love that it's easy to move up if you're interested in that. But the biggest thing I love about CARM, I'd say, is having to work with the people um, because you never know what type of person is gonna come through. And I view retail and customer service as just an opportunity to change someone's day around, even if they're having a hard day. Like we might be the only happy face that you see through the day. So uh, I just love that aspect of it, of how we stand out in a company for that. I'm Karen Bowdle and I'm Director of Communications and Public Relations at Knox Area Rescue Ministries. I truly believe, a lot of us here at CARM truly believe that if Jesus were walking around in the flesh today, that he would show up at CARM a lot. Until I came to work at CARM, I had no idea the hurdles that men and women struggling with homelessness face in trying to just have access to medical care. Like, you know, when I cut my hand or, or have a fever or a sore throat, I can go to a doc in, in the box and get the care that I need. They cannot. And often, the majority of the time, their only access to medical care is to call 911 and go to a local ER. So CARM saw that and we thought we, we can do something about this because CARM is always looking for where the need is for our, our guests who are struggling with homelessness and trying to meet that need. And so we saw their huge hurdle of access to medical care. So we thought we have the space. So we opened an on-site care center and we invited our community's medical partners to come to the care center and to provide that care. So we have an open on-site care center five days a week. Um, one of our partners who comes to CARM quite often is Remote Area Medical. They bring their vision clinic to us. We had a guest who thought he was going blind. His name is Alejandro. He's amazing. His smile is contagious. And um, Alejandro thought he was going blind, but through that exam revealed that he wasn't going blind. He just had cataracts. So. Uh, Remote Air Medical and our, our, our CARM staff were able to work with another community partner, Knoxville 
area project access uh, to find uh, an ophthalmologist who would do surgery on Alejandro's cataracts and now Alejandro can see. I wake up every morning and it, it, just, just driving down here, pulling into this parking lot, reminds me of, of just how blessed I am. There were a lot of times in my personal story that had a decision been made differently or had something happened differently that I could be walking into CARM needing the services and programs that our guests get here. And so I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for our guests. They teach, they teach me every day and uh, just grateful for them. Grateful that they were brave enough to walk through these doors. It takes a lot of courage and just hope that they can find the services and the resources that they need to walk out of these doors and only come back as a volunteer. Our mission, our mission is restoring lives in Jesus' name. We use a ministry formula to pursue that mission. Rescue plus relationships equals restoration. That includes our meals. We serve almost a thousand meals a day here at CARM. That includes our shelter, which right now we're in the women's dorm, which is known as Hope Haven. I love that name. And so a lot of our guests who come to CARM for the first time, they've not had a meal in days. They've not had a safe place to rest. And so we feel like that if we can meet those two immediate needs, that it, it frees up space in their brains and in their hearts to think about what they need to do next in order to take the steps to get their lives back on track. And of course, if, if they come here and with only you know, dirty clothes on their back, everybody gets a shower. But if they need clothes, we, we provide them with clothes and, and just other essentials. A lot of men and women who come to CARM, by the time they get here, they've lost three things their driver's license, their social security card, and their birth certificate. We call those the big three. Now imagine trying to do anything in our country today without one of those, much less all three of those. So one of the first things that their care coordinators work with them is to try to get those three back. Because without those, they can't apply for jobs, they can't uh, see a doctor you know, out in the community, they can't apply for housing, so that's, that's one of our big, big pushes. And of course, we're always trying to get folks to, to take part in our programs here. That's that relationships part of our formula. Honestly, I think everybody in America could benefit from going through our Launch Point program. It's just good, solid wisdom and practical advice about how to keep moving forward in your life. It teaches things like money management, anger management, the importance of a, of a network, of, you know, of supportive relationships. Um, the, just like I say, about 12 different things that they cover in that four week time frame. I would love for any of you seeing this, if you'd like to come down to CARM, I would love to give you a tour. We call it the I Had No Idea Tour because we, uh, everybody who takes a tour at CARM says, I had no idea at all of the things that you guys are doing. Because most people in East Tennessee, they know that CARM provides beds, they know that CARM provides meals. They have no idea of the life-changing programs that CARM provides. So come on down, take a tour. So as you guys have seen, CARM has a lot of different things going on, both with CARM stores and CARM the ministry. Uh, one of the things that we have going on on the CARM store side, we have 24 locations uh, right now. 23 of those are retail uh, and donation centers. So they have a retail store as well as a donation center, typically located in the back, but not all, always, uh, where you can come in and drop your donations off. And one of the th things that we do is a program called Corners Your Field. Any donations that you bring, and we can partner that with a local church, a local nonprofit, a local organization and what we do is every quarter we will actually reach out and we will send um, those churches those nonprofits those organizations gift cards and those gift cards can be used for anything they see fit maybe it's people coming in asking for help maybe it's the organization itself needing supplies um, they're able to come in and they're able to shop at car stores just like it's a gift card in any other um, capacity so it's a really awesome way that through your donations you're able to help um, by funding the ministry through the retail sides of the stores, but also you're going to be able to help give back to organizations and give back directly into your communities. So for more details on how you can partner with CARM stores, you can check it out at CARM.org. Thank you, and we hope to see you at one of our stores soon.